Okay, so we had to, we will be uh, we'll introduce the uh, new uh, finite machine which is called push down automata, which is a uh, to accept the context free language we need the push down automata. We have seen the to accept the regular language we need the uh, uh, finite automata like DFA, NFA and this is the push down automata. So, for regular expression or regular set. we have corresponding finite automata for example, DFA, NFA, epsilon NFA all this finite automata is there. Now, we have seen for context free language languages uh, like for example, uh, if you take this language L 0 to the power n 1 to the power n over 0 1. So, we know this is not a regular language, because there is no finite automata which can accept this not a regular language. We, we have not having any regular expression which is corresponding to this. Even we have proved this using the pumping lemma that uh, this language cannot be regular, okay. because in the pumping lemma that is the necessary condition of to be a language to be regular. But we have seen this language is a context free language that means, we have uh, we have a grammar for this language context free grammar that grammar we, we know this is the grammar like s is going to 0 s 1 or 0 1 like this. Okay. So, this can generate this. So, now the question is why it cannot accept by a finite automata because the for acceptance of this we need to count the how many ones we have because it has to say for example, it has to accept 0 to the power 10 1 to the power 10 like 10 0 followed by 10 ones any form of this 0 to the power 100 1 to the power 100. Now, in the finite automata there is no way we can count how many zeros we have encountered so far. So, that we will encounter the same number of ones in the when we read the input as 1. So, that is not possible here, but that is for that we will introduce a concept called push down automata, uh, where we will use a stack, we will use a stack to I mean sort of memory we can say, I mean how many 1s, how many zeros. So, whenever we, we have a 0, we can push 0 into the stack whenever we see a 1 we push we pop 1 into this. So, there is will be a stack where the push and pop operation will be there. So, that is the new automata which will having extra stack to uh, in the definition like this is. So, this will be corresponding to P D A or push down automata. Okay. And this is uh, the first we will learn the non deterministic version of it. Then we have a deterministic version of it. Okay. So, the concept is in order to accept this language, what we need in a finite machine? We need to have like uh, we need to remember how many ones, how many zeros we have, uh, how many is here it is a b, how many a's we have encountered. So, this is over a b. So, that means, whenever we see a a, we push into the stack, we have a stack, we push into the stack, okay. push a kind of thing, this is a stack. And whenever we see a b, we pop a from the stack. So, that means, if ultimately if the stack is empty, then we can accept the string. So, that is the idea. So, let us formally define what do we mean by a uh, push down automata. Okay. 
Okay, so it is a uh, it is a tuple consists of Q sigma delta Q zero Z zero F. Okay, so this is the this we know this is the set states set of states this is finite and this is the input alphabet which is on the tape and this is the uh, stack alphabet which will be there in the stack. all are finite this is the stack alphabet and this is the transition rules. So, here we have a uh, the our machine is reading a symbol from the stack and that symbol is coming from this uh, set okay. and this is the transition rule uh, we will define this formally this is the initial state or the starting state of the machine. and this is the starting symbol in the stack. So, we put this z 0 in the stack starting symbol in the stack symbol in the stack. So, z 0 is basically coming from this set okay. starting symbol of z 0 is the stack alphabet and this is the final state this is the set of final state which is a subset of q and this delta this is the transition rule or transition function so this is now is a uh, sub heat is coming. So, it is just considering a state where we are at now and it is reading a input symbol in the tape and also it is reading a uh, it is seeing the stack. Okay. So, this is uh, it is reading the stack symbol. So, this is a function of q our current state and sigma this is since this is epsilon NFA. I sorry this since this is a non deterministic uh, and, and epsilon move is allowed here and we have a stack and it is going to finite set of it is going to finite set of set of q cross star. So, basically uh, basically it is taking a, so we are at say uh, q at some state and our tape is say reading at that say a, we are reading the input symbol as a, a could be epsilon also and then suppose we are our stack symbol is say z. this will be a some kind of subset of this set q cross this. So, it will read a symbol from the stack suppose this is the stack symbol and it will replace a string of the stack symbol in the stack. So, suppose it, it is uh, say it could be any set of p 1 gamma 1 like this p 1 p 2 gamma 2 dot 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 say p m gamma m. This is non deterministic if it is de if it is deterministic then we have only one of this since it is non deterministic we have a choice. So, it can go to say any so it can be uh, any one of this. So, it is a subset of this is option we can move any one of this. So, that means if it is say So, 
So, we have an option to go anywhere. So, suppose we, this is the situation, this is our tape, we are reading this tape. At some point of time, we here is our tape head, and this is our machine, and we are such, uh, uh, this is our finite machine, finite state control. And suppose we are at state Q and we are reading this symbol and there is a stack position also there, this is a stack and suppose this is the top of the stack which is currently we are reading. So, currently our position is this is a snapshot of the machine, we are taking a snapshot of the machine, this is the current situation of the machine or final state control. So, so, that means, we are currently we are at state Q and our uh, tape header input is uh, reading the symbol A and our stack symbol it is saying Z. Now, if it is it have a option it can take any one of this suppose it is taking the option P i gamma i. So, this is a this is coming from this is a symbol stack symbol. So, this could be say some uh, 0 z i 1 z i 2 like this z i k. So, if it is like this and what what it is. So, that means, it is going to. So, it will going to some state p i and it will move further and then this will be replaced by this. So, z 1 z 2 z z i k z i minus 1 k. So, z i 1 like this and this will be pointing to yes like this. Okay. So, it can take one of this option. So, this that is the same as it is called non deterministic, we have a non deterministic uh, this this is not deterministic, if it is deterministic then it will be it will be fixed one of this. So, it will go to some p state and it will replace that j to some of the string of the stack symbols that is the way. Okay. So, this is the uh, this is the definition of a push down automata. So, uh, uh, now yeah. So, now that j will be replaced by these symbols like this. Okay. So, we take an example of a push down automata, then it will be more clear. So, the difference from a finite automata which we have seen the DFA, MFA, the difference is that we have a stack here. I mean we are reading another, another symbol which is a stack symbol and the movement the delta transition will depend on the current state the input alphabet and the stack symbol. So, it will go to some new state or maybe the same state and it will replace the stack by some uh, some string of the stack symbol. Okay. It could be epsilon also that is why it is string, string of the stack symbol. We will take an example. We will take an example. So, let us define a. So, this is a tuple we know, this is a push down automata j q 0 j 0 f. So, where q is we have how many states? We have say 3 states q 0, q 1, q f final state, we have one final state and suppose sigma is a b and stack alphabet is say a z 0, z 0 is the uh, initial position of the stack that is the starting symbol in the stack and f is q f, well, we have only one final state. So, delta we have to define, so delta we write like this q 0 a z 0. So, if we see z 0 in the stack, 
So, this has only one option q 0. So, it will be remain at q 0 and the stack symbol will be it is z 0. So, it will be replaced by a z 0. So, we are pushing a kind of thing. Then delta of q 1 b a that means ah, sorry q 1. So, it has 3 input q 1 if we see a b and if we see a, a in the top of the stack. So, it will just go to some q 1 and it will it will uh, erase that a from the stack. So, epsilon will be replaced. So, it is uh, okay. So, this means what? This means we are at q 0 and our stack is say z 0. If our input tape we are reading a there, then it will going to it will be remain at q 0 and uh, this will be replaced by this will be replaced by a z 0 like this and this is pointing here. And now again if we see a b uh, sorry if we see a uh, yeah so yeah so this is the things. Now if we see a uh, b now then it will just go to q 1 and it will replace this. So, we are trying to accept a to the power n b to the power n. Okay, so, let us write this. So, let us write the rules here tangents over here. So, you have transition like this delta of q 0 a z 0 equal to q 0 a z 0 delta of q 0 a a we replace this by q 0 a a. So, we are pushing a basically. Now, delta of uh, q 0 b a then we have to it is q 1 epsilon. We are erase this a, we are popping a, pushing a, popping a. Now, delta of q 1. So, q 1 b a, then we will go to the intermediate state before going to the final state q 1 and then delta of q 1 epsilon z 0, this will be q 1 epsilon or we can make it uh, we can make it uh, this one. So, this is the sorry we have only two state uh, one is the q f. So, this sorry so q, q is q 1 q 2 only and q f is basically q 1. Yeah, it has only two states. So, like this. Okay. So, this is please uh, rectify this. So, this is this is q is q 1 q 2 and among this q 1 is the final state that is the f. So, this is our f. Okay. So, let me write this uh, diagram for this. So, if you write the diagram for this. So, we have two state q 1 q 2. Now, from q 1 if we see a uh, from q 1 if we see a a and if the stack symbol is uh, say a if the stack symbol is uh, z 0 z 0 then it will go to q 1 and the stack will be a z 0. This is the this is the stack symbol string which will be replaced by uh, which will replace this. And if it is B or if it is yeah, if it is again uh, we have three options, if it is A, again if it is A and then if it is A again this one. So, it will replace by A A like this. 
Okay, and if it is uh, like uh, A Z 0, we have this, this one, this and if it is B, then it will go to here. If it is B and the stack symbol is A, then it will replace the stack symbol by epsilon. And from B, what we are doing from uh, sorry from Q 1, if it is B, uh, if it is B and if the stack is A, then it will go to epsilon, we are e e erasing that. Now, if it is epsilon and the stack is z 0, then it is epsilon okay. and this is the final state. So, it is reaching to the final state with the any string like a to the power n, b to the power n. We will formally define the language of a PDA, uh, the push down automata, but this is one example. So, our stack is having the symbols like uh, a or z 0. Now, when we read a, a we are uh, we push a in, into the stack and when you read a b after that we pop a like this. So, so that to accept this. Okay, so, now we can have a we can define the instantaneous and description of a this stack of a PDA. Then we will define the, the language accepted by the PDA. instantaneous description this is called id of a pda this is just a nothing but a snapshot of the current position of the uh, machine this is a finite machine so snapshot i mean what is the stack position like this so so, if given a m, the push down automata z 0 f. So, i d is a tuple like this q w and this. Uh, so, q is the current state. So, like this we are at suppose this is our w we are reading this uh, w we say 1 a 2 a n this is our input alphabet a n and this uh, this is our we are we are reading a suppose before that we have a a. So, a a our current position of this stack is like this. So, we are reading basically input alphabet a w a is an a is coming from sigma. Okay. Now, suppose the position of the stack is like this. Uh, so, we have this this is uh, alpha is there up to this we have say z 1 z 2 z k this is alpha and we have at the top of this we have a z which is currently we are seeing. So, it is a finite control this is our and we are reading this stack symbol top of the stack and we are reading this input symbol a and we have remaining the input is in a, in a string this. And suppose the delta is like this. So, delta is currently suppose we are at q and we are uh, reading a a and our stack symbol is z say. So, this will be uh, this will be subset of some uh, p i s delta i i gamma i like this p l gamma l. So, we have option this is a non determinist we have option here. Now, suppose we are taking the move p k gamma k. So, gamma k is the so p k gamma k. So, that means from here q it will go to 
p k and this uh, z will be replaced by the gamma k. So, gamma k may be consist of say some z uh, k 1 I mean something like that z k 1 z k 2 z k uh, uh, k m. So, this is our this is our say gamma k and it will next it will pointing to the top of the stack. So, it will re, if it is epsilon if it is replacing epsilon then it will erase that symbol like this and if we are taking this move and the next will be this one this is the position of the remaining position of the uh, tape input uh, uh, we have to read. So, that is the tape position how much yet we have to read we have given a uh, sequence of input we are keep on reading after a we have to read this. this. So, this is the current position of the step we have to yet to go and this is the current state position. So, that means, this will uh, this will write as this. So, q we are at q and w a w is the current input and then gamma. So, gamma is the current state of the uh, this thing. So, gamma is nothing but say z, sorry z alpha. So, alpha is there z was there. So, this is going to. So, now the current position is this is a snapshot i d means the snapshot. So, currently current it is going to say say p I mean this is say p. So, p is the current state and what is the uh, current so, we have already read A, now we have to read W, W is this string. So, we have to uh, about to read this, this is the, the position of the tape. And then we have the what is the position of this uh, stack, we have added this. So, position of the stack is instead of z, we have added this. So, that is basically say some gamma and alpha some gamma alpha. Okay. This gamma is nothing but this gamma k. So, we are replacing this. So, stack we are reading in the stack, we are reading the top of the stack. This is our z and we have remaining the symbol is alpha. So, this will be replaced by some gamma and then we have a top here. So, that top again we have to read, but this is just going by one move. We could have different choice also, but if you take that choice, this is going to one move. So, this is this is this is the move relation, this is going by one move. Again, from here it will go like this. So, we will uh, keep on going like this, but this is the instantaneous description of a push down automata. That means, we will take a snapshot of that at some at that point, what is the uh, situation of the machine, like what is the remaining tape it has to read, what is the current state, what is the stack position. So, that is the uh, id. So, we will uh, talk about more on this, we will define the languages accepted by push down automata in the next class. Thank you very much.